section of ear diagram into table so first of all let us discuss reduction of an er scheme into the tables a database which conforms to an er diagram can be represented by the collection of tables so converting a er diagram to the table format is basis for driving a relation database design from an er diagram so basically when we represent a database model in terms of er diagram so there are some entities and the relationship among them are represented in forms of graphical representation so when we are designing a database that conforms to a relational model we have to convert the er diagram into a relational model that holds relations in forms of tables and all the attributes that are conforming to the entities of an er diagram in forms of the fields of those those tables fields of those tables so basically uh, the primary keys allows entity sets and relations sets to expressed uniformly as tables which represents the contents of the database for each entity set and relationship set there is a unique table which is assigned which is which is assigned to the name of the corresponding entity set of the relationship set each table has a number of columns in case of the entity sets in case of the entity set corresponding to the attributes which have the unique name okay so it involves seven step process when we are converting an er diagram into a relational model that inherits the properties that were reflected in the er diagram all the attributes that are going to be presented in form of fields of the table so it involves basically seven steps seven steps that involves first step the mapping of the regular entity types the second step mapping of the weak entity types in step third mapping of binary one to one relation types in step four mapping of binary one to multiple relationships and in step five mapping of m to n relationship that is multi multi relationship types and mapping of multi valued attributes and mapping of n array relationship type so we can also term the regular entities as in terms of the stronger entities types that are represented in er model so let's have an example and this example we see there are entities employee department project and also we have weak entity set dependent okay so first of all we will find out how many entity sets are there so we will find out that in this given example we have employee department project and weak entity set dependent okay so what is the first step first step is the mapping of regular or stronger entity types so let us find out in this given example which are the strong entities so this is a strong entity this is also a strong entity this is also a strong entity but this is not a strong entity this is a weak entity so for each strong entity set we create a relation r that means we have to create a table r that includes all the simple attributes of that particular entity so for example in this er model for employee for department and for project we will create tables as employee as department as project and what will be the fields of those relations 
those attributes attributes of this are birth date okay then assassin number name sex address salary okay here we will see that name is a composite attribute having first name middle name and last name in this example in this entity we have attributes name number and locations okay and this location is multi valued attribute because departments location may vary from departments to departments okay for this entity project we have attributes name number and location okay so we can say each department may control multiple projects but each project having a specific location okay so for each regular strong entity set we create a relation or we can say a table having all the simple attributes of those entity then we have to choose a key attribute of entity as a primary key of our okay so in this example can we say this particular ssn number can be defined as primary key in our employee table as well as in department there is department number can department number is a stronger entity that can be used as primary key for this department relation in this project we have attributes name number and location so a project number may be specified as a primary key for this project relation so after conversion of those entities into relation with those attributes in forms of the field of those tables and selecting a attribute that is strong enough to be chosen as primary key for that relation if the key of those entities is composite okay if the key of the entity is composite then set of simple attribute that forms it will together form the primary key of so in this example we can see uh, there is no requirement because uh, for this particular attribute ssn number is strong enough for choosing of primary key similarly in department we have department number and for project entity we have project number okay so now conversion can be seen here that we have three relations now we have three relations employee department project as we can confirm it from this given er diagram these were strong entity sets employee department and project okay so attributes confirms to the er diagram entity sets like here ssn number birth date name sex address salary okay so all those including this ssn number represented as the primary key okay for department department number and for project project number okay now moving to the next step mapping of weak entity set so how to represent a weak entity sets in our er in our relational model so a weak entity set becomes a table that includes a column from the primary key of identifying strong entity set so it will be represented in the form of foreign key in this relation so how to map a weak entity set into our relational model so here we can see the weak entity set becomes a table that includes the column from the 
primary key of the identifying strong entity set. So, is there any weak entity set? Weak entity set in our example. So, here we can see the dependent, the dependent is a weak entity set that basically depends on employee. So, conversion of this includes representation of this dependent in form of a relation having the primary key of this as a foreign key in this relation as well as the identifying attribute of dependent along with the primary key of the employee will be key attribute for this dependent. So, here we can see this is our weak entity set. Okay. So, weak entity set. So, how to represent this into a relation model? We will create a table termed as dependent. Okay. So, we have a table dependent okay. that includes all the attributes. Okay. So, all the attributes we have name, we have name, sex, birthday, relationship that are the attributes confirming this particular entity that is weak. Okay. Along with the primary key attribute of this. So, what is the strong entity set that conforms to this weak entity set is SSN number and now we can see in this dependent there is ploy SSN and this along with this attribute of dependent makes the primary key, the key attribute for this dependent. Okay. The primary key for R is the combination of the primary key of the owners and the partial key of the weekend. So, what is the partial key in this name? Okay. And what is the foreign key? This and this foreign key along with this confirms to be a primary key or identifying attributes for this relation. Okay. Moving on to the step 3. In step 3, mapping of the binary one-to-one -one relationship types. So, binary one-to-one -one relation case, we will identify those relations and corresponding participation of those into the main relation. So, we will choose one of the relation that includes the foreign key in that chosen attribute set, the primary key of T. Okay. So, in this example, can we find out one to one binary relation? Okay. How many binary one to one relation is there? So, we can see in this and this, this is a one to one relation. Okay. Is there any other one to one relation? Can we see? No. So, this employee and this department verifies to be in one to one binary relation. So, in case of this, what to do? We first identify those entities. We will, uh, so we already identifies two entities, employee and department, as having one to one binary relationship. So, in this case, what to do? The include the foreign key in S. So, in this example, we will see that the employee and department, where is the employee? Employee and department. Okay. So, in employee and department, sorry, uh, this is So, where is department? Here is department. Okay. So, coming to the point, 
तो चूज वन ऑफ द रिलेशन से एस दैट एंड इंक्लूड अ फॉरिन की इन एस द प्राइमरी की ऑफ टी वट इज द टी ओके सो टी इज द सेकेंड एंटिटी सेट इट इज बेटर टू चूज एन एंटिटी टाइप विथ टोटल पार्टिसिपेशन इन आर इन द रोल ऑफ एस सो वी कैन सी इन दिस एंड दिस ओके हियर वी कैन सी द एस एस एन नंबर यू कैन सी हियर द एस एस एन नंबर कन्फर्म्स हियर एज अ फॉरिन की एज वेल एज द एम्प्लॉय एस एस एन नंबर ऑल्सो इन केस ऑफ सॉरी पॉज कर सकते हैं इसको सर थोड़ा सा पॉज करके ना इसको फिर से रिवर्स कर दीजिएगा थोड़ा सा इसमें गलत हो गया ओके सो वट आर द स्टेप इन फर्स्ट स्टेप वी विल आइडेंटिफाई दो एंटिटी सेट्स हैविंग वन टू वन बाइनरी रिलेशनशिप इन दिस एग्जाम्पल एम्प्लॉय एंड डिपार्टमेंट आर इन वन टू वन बाइनरी रिलेशनशिप सो वट वी विल डू वी विल चूज वन रिलेशन दैट विल होल्ड दिस अनदर एंटिटी सेट्स प्राइमरी की विद इन इट सेल्फ एज अ फॉरिन की ओके so here the employee and the department okay having one to one relationship we check here that the ssn number is now as a part of a department as a foreign key with the attribute term as mgr underscore ssn okay Similarly, moving to the next step, binary one-to multiple relationship types mapping. So, if in case one-to-one -one relationship types, first of all, we have to identify those relationships along with those entities which are participating. Okay. So, in this example. can we see where are the 1 to n relationship here and here okay also here okay as many employees works for department okay and also many projects can be controlled by department and as well as there may be many dependents that depend upon employees okay that's why here the relationships are one to many or we can say one to n okay so in such cases what we do first of all we identify those entities then we include foreign key in identified entities okay and the expression becomes like in this example we will find out those attributes okay those entities here employee and department having one to one department and project and employee to dependent okay so employee department okay so how to to confirm this we will first okay represent the department so here we have included the department number that comes from the primary key of department okay so this department number has been added as a foreign key in this entity or if we can say in this relation okay and it confirms from the relation department with its primary key number 
similarly we can also see in project as the project also in relation with department as 1 to n binary relation so we will we see in this department its primary key is its primary key is confirmed to be a foreign key in this project okay clear also the employee and dependent okay for the employee and dependent so employee and the dependent so dependents okay it's already is here okay so we are clear to this in case of one to many binary relations we first identify those entities then we confirms that the primary key of one entity set is represented as the foreign key in another for this example we added its primary key into this as well as into this okay and for this okay, we can see this we can confirm this from this example okay now in step 5 mapping of binary m to n relationships type so in this first identify those are in m to n relationships then for those we create a relation okay then we include the foreign key attributes in this created relation okay that conforms to the primary key of participating entity types okay and their combination will form the primary key okay so what we do we will create a new relation okay conforming to those who are in m2 and relationship and for those and from those relations we will find out the primary keys and primary key will conform to the primary key for this relation for example in this in this er model the employee and the projects having m2 n relation okay so what we will do we will create a table for this okay and then the key attributes will be as the foreign key here we will declare the foreign key this and this okay and this will be added as key attribute in this particular relation and combination of these will conform to the key attribute for this relation so let's come to this here we created a relation okay and the relation term as works on having attributes as this essn number comes from here this is the okay primary key of employee which is represented as foreign key in works on similarly from this relation its primary key number is represented as the attribute termed p number okay and the combination of these two works as the primary key for this relation and this relation also having its additional attributes ours okay moving to the next in step 6 mapping of multi valued attributes if we have some multi valued attributes in our er model then how to conform it into our relational model for each multi valued attributes we have to create a new relation r okay and this relation r will include an attribute corresponding to a okay corresponding to a means the attribute that is multi valued plus the primary key attribute k as the foreign key in r 
what is r r is the nucleated relation okay that represents the entity type of the relationship type that has a in its as attribute so coming to this in this example can we see any multi valued attributes in our entities so in this department we have location okay we have location as a multi valued attribute so how to convert it into a relation model we will first create this as a relation okay in our first point that involves mapping of multi valued attributes we can see for each multi valued attribute we create a new relation so what we have done we create created a relation that termed as department location okay having having its primary key ki primary key of is this okay so department's primary key is this department number so this is rep uh, represented in this new table as department number and this attribute is lo location so this will be also included and this combination will be created and it will work as the primary key for this newly created relation okay so department number along with location will work as a primary key for this newly created relation okay now moving on to the next step how to map nary relationship types okay for each nary relationship type where n is greater than 2 okay so more than 2 entity that are of different types or involved in relationship we will create new table okay and how we will create those tables that will involve those entities primary keys as the foreign key in newly created relation as well as it will include its own attributes okay so let us take this example because in our example we don't have any nary relation so let's take an example of this where supplier supply some parts for project okay this is a nary that involves more than two because this 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 are involved in a relation okay so more than two different types of entities are involved in a relation then it is a nary type of relationship okay so for conforming this type of er diagram into a relational model first of all we have already know that is this is supplier having its own attribute sets okay x y z attributes are represented here okay and this is its primary similarly for project for part then what to do next when we are converting this into a relational model we will create a new create new relation for this relation and this is termed as the same supply having its own attribute having its own attribute along with the primary keys as a foreign key in this newly created relation so s name project name and part number and all these combined works for this relation as a primary okay so this is how we convert a given er model into a relational model okay so this involves all seven steps okay regular integer types okay we will create a relation for each regular entity along with those 
attributes and we will choose a strong entity a strong attribute as the primary key for the relation and when we convert a weak entity set we first create a table and then we combinedly use this weak entity sets attribute along with its its dependent dependency on which it's depend puts primary key and along with the weak entity attributes that serves as the primary key for this okay for one to one binary relation types okay as we have seen this here for this we first identify those involves in one to one then what we do one of the relationships primary key works as a foreign key in second entity set so that involved in one to one okay here employee and department number we are involved in one to one relationships and what we did we just taken this primary key as a foreign key okay now in the next step for mapping of 1 to n okay for mapping of 1 to n what we did first we identify those and then here yeah, we identified in this example this and this were involved and this and this were involved okay so its primary key serves as a foreign key in this as well as this in this okay. similarly for m to n it was the simplest approach okay and in this we just created a new relationship okay and those uh, attributes that were uh, especially recognizing for the m to n relationship as well as those attributes that were primary keys in both the entities conforms to the primary key for the newly created relation okay similarly for ma mapping of multi valued attributes what we did for those multi valued attributes we create a relation new relation okay and on which relation on which entity this attribute was there its primary key along with this attribute will serve as the primary key okay here we can see the department number along with location will serve as the primary key for newly created relation okay and for anary type we have seen that all the primary keys that are involved in anary relationships will serve as a primary key for newly created relation along with the additional attribute of that relationship okay thank you